Hey guys, welcome to another Monster Hunter World video. Today I'm back with some greatsword sets. Now, in Monster Hunter, I'm on a sort of personal quest to complete 150 missions on every weapon in an attempt to master them or at least be respectably decent with all of them. I've already completed a few so far and now it's time for the greatsword. So I wanted to share the sets that I've been using personally with you guys so hopefully you enjoy them. I have scoured the internet trying to find the best combinations of specific things that I personally really like on greatsword because truth be told there are a lot of really good skills that work well with greatsword so keep that in mind. These are the sets that have worked the best for me, and I think they will benefit you too. I'll also be making a video for a greatsword set that isn't so heavy on endgame stuff and is more accessible, like my previous longsword video. I got a lot of good feedback from people wanting to see more new player friendly sets, so keep an eye out for that one. Anyway, let's get into the spec. The first set I have for you is an elementless set. This will, of course, be using the Jagras Hacker Greatsword. This thing is very versatile. It has three augment slots, two level three slot, a hidden element, and decent damage. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna spec for white sharpness because I personally don't find it too useful on this weapon. I have it augmented once for an attack increase, once for an affinity increase, and once for a health region augment. I recommend you augment it the same way, but if you prefer something else, just try not to double stack augments because you will get those diminishing returns. I also have it outfitted with an elementless jewel to make the most out of our damage, and a critical jewel to boost the damage of our crits because we will be critting a lot with this set. Now for the armor, we have the Nergigante Helm Alpha that has a spare level 1 slot I will fill with an attack jewel. The chest piece is the Damascus Male Beta outfitted with 3 attack boost jewels. Now I can already hear the comments about having more than one attack jewel. So if you don't have any spare attack boost jewels, you can fill this out with some expert jewels, so you can have a static 50% crit at base. Or if you don't have any of those, you can fit anything else in here, three divine blessing jewels, vitality jewels, medicine jewels, you name it. The gauntlets are gonna be the Diablo Nero Braces Beta, outfitted with another critical jewel and another attack jewel. The coil is the Nergigante Coil Beta, outfitted with our third and final critical jewel. The boots are the Nergigante Greaves Beta, with our only tenderizer jewel, and the charm is the Exploiter Charm, to give us maxed out weakness exploit. Now as a whole, you'll have a level seven attack boost, level three critical boost, level three weakness exploit, maxed out focus, level 3 maximum might, a spare level 1 critical eye, and a non-elemental boost. Now, this is the set I run now, but you could instead, like I said, run this with 3 expert jewels instead of attack jewels, so you'd have uh, attack boost at level 4 for the affinity, and you would end up having 50% raw crit chance. But the numbers are a bit bigger, obviously, with a attack boost level 7, so it's up to you. From my experience, 88% crit chance is more than good enough, but you have that option if you prefer it. Needless to say, this set hits really, really hard. With such high crit chance, crit boost improves your DPS by quite a bit, you'll get a lot of value out of all your critical hits having a level 3 crit boost. This set doesn't rely on peak performance, but you will still keep yourself pretty healthy with the region augment and the Nergigante set bonus, and the reason why I have those in here is because since it heals you, it allows you to keep attacking after being hit, you know, you don't have to worry about drinking a potion. This means you'll have way more uptime doing actual damage to the monster, and therefore increasing the damage you will deal throughout the hunt, and making the hunt shorter altogether. You're probably familiar with a set like this, um, but people usually run peak performance. Because you are so immobile with the greatsword, I personally don't run peak performance because more often than not you will take some sort of chip damage from a random hit that doesn't even make you flinch or anything, but since you're not at max HP you won't get the bonus from peak performance, so I prefer having crit boost instead and I'm going to recommend that you guys do too. It's a much more reliable, consistent source of damage. Anyway, let's move on to the second set, which is a dragon focus set that uses the Devil Joe greatsword. The Devil Joe greatsword is amazing. It has high damage, high elder seal, and a decent bit of dragon damage too. It also has two augment slots, but no jewel slots unfortunately. This set is pretty similar to the elementless one, but we are going to swap around a few jewels to help us negate some of that negative affinity. Speaking of which, I have augmented the Joe sword for an affinity increase and a health region augment. You can opt for an attack increase augment instead, but I personally really like the health regen. For the armor, we're going to be using these same armor pieces, like I said but the chest piece is going to be outfitted with two dragon jewels and one expert jewel. The gauntlets are going to have a tenderizer jewel and another expert jewel, and both the coil and boots will also have a tenderizer jewel to round out weakness exploit. The charm, however, will be the handicraft charm 3, which will give us a considerable amount of white sharpness. Now as a whole, this will give you level 4 attack boost, just enough to get that 5% affinity, level 3 weakness exploit, level 3 focus, level 3 handicraft, level 3 maximum might, level 2 dragon attack, which will put us right below the elemental damage cap for this weapon, and two levels of critical eye. 
With this, you will have completely cancelled out the negative affinity of the Devil Joe Greatsword, and instead have brought it up to 21% affinity, which will jump to 71% crit chance when hitting a weak spot. So we went all the way from negative 35% affinity to positive 71% affinity. That is huge, especially for a weapon that has this much raw and elemental damage. Needless to say, this thing hits kinda hard. <laughs> To say the least. I had another version of the set that had 88% crit chance, but the damage was much lower, so I've come to like this a fair bit more. You'll never see a negative crit, you'll have a bunch of white sharpness, and you'll keep yourself healthy with the health regen thanks to how much damage your hits will do. Despite the phallic look of the Devil Joe Greatsword, I've come to really enjoy it with this set, so I hope you will too. Now the final set I have for you guys is a crit draw set. This is especially useful for people that aren't that comfortable with Greatsword yet, but I pretty much only use it on things like Kirin, Odogarin, you know, things that move a lot. Alright, so for this one we're going to be using the Jagras as a baseline, but you can run any Greatsword here. You can use the Rathalos one for fire, Dolra for ice, etc. Just use the weapon fit for the monster you'll be fighting, or you can just take the Jagras as a universal option. Depending on the weapon you'll use, uh, the augment salts are going to vary, obviously, but I'm going to recommend an attack increase. You won't make too much use out of the affinity nor the health regen, so if you want you can augment slots for attack. Uh, that's up to you. If your weapon has a level 2 slot or higher, like the Jagras, or if you augmented it for one, then outfit it with a critical jewel. For the armor, we're going to be using the Diablo's Helm Beta with a draw jewel so we can max out critical draw in one piece. The chest piece is still going to be the Damascus Male Beta, again outfitted with three attack jewels. Like I said earlier, if you don't have any spare attack jewels, then fit this out with Vitality Boost or Divine Blessing Jewels, maybe even some Speed Sharpening Jewels. You can fill this with whatever you want. The gauntlets are going to be the Odogaran Vambraces Beta that have a level 1 slot outfitted with a Sheath Jewel. The Coil is the Diablo's Coil Beta, I fit it with another Critical Jewel. The Boots are the Ordogarn Greaves Beta with another Sheath Jewel to max out Quick Sheath. And then we'll also be using the Attack Charm 3 to bump up our damage a little bit. Now as a whole, you'll have level 6 Attack Boost, level 3 Critical Draw, level 3 Quick Sheath, 2 levels of Critical Boost, 2 levels of Focus, 2 levels of Marathon Runner that are just... there, I guess. One level of Constitution that also is just there, but at least this one reduces the amount of stamina we use from dodging and tackling. And a non-elemental boost in this case because we are using the Jagras Greatsword. I would really like to have a level 3 crit boost here since our draw attack will always crit, uh, but we just don't have the slots to justify it. Now of course, this set revolves around hitting the monster with a draw attack. Roll, sheath, and rinse and repeat until it dies. Now because we have maxed out critical draw, we don't need any other crit because our draw attack will always crit. This includes a quick attack, a level 1 charge, sliding attacks, and jumping attacks. The key to this set, and the reason why I've set it up like this way, is because we have two set bonuses. The Diablo's Mastery and the Odogaran Mastery set bonuses. The Diablo's gives us Bludgeoner, which increases our attack as our sharpness goes down. And most importantly, the Odogaran gives us Punishing Draw, which adds more stun to our draw attacks. So basically, all you do is walk up to the monster's face, draw level 1, reposition, rinse, and repeat. With this, you will stun monsters constantly, and if you watch the gameplay I put on screen using this set, you'll see that I knock out this current quite a few times, like, it works really, really well. Another benefit of having a guaranteed crit with our draw attack is that we can afford to hit other parts of the body that aren't necessarily weak spots and still deal a decent bit of damage. However, doing so will cause your sharpness to go down, which is why we have Bludgeoner. I was using a version of the set that only had Punishing Draw, but Bludgeoner actually adds a decent bit of damage. And since we don't have Protective Polish or anything like that in the set, we can make the most out of the bonus. Now, whenever you do knock down the monster, feel free to go for a True Charge combo. I feel like I have to say this because whenever people see Crit Draw, literally the only thing they think is just the crit attack, but you're still using a great sword. You will deal a lot of damage regardless, but your constant damage will come from landing small crits and whenever you knock down the monster, instead of trying to land a bunch of true charge slashes over and over again. Well, anyway guys, those are the sets I have for you. Like I said, these are the ones that I have found uh, the most success with after a lot of testing and experimenting, so give them a try. I hope you enjoy them. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be making another video with some budget versions of these sets that will be more accessible to new players and won't rely on rare decorations so heavily, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful or at least entertaining. If you have any suggestions or ideas, of course, leave them in the comments, and as always, I'll check them out. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Take care.